So hey, what is up guys? My name is Alan and welcome back to another quickie episode. So today I'll be showing you on how you can rebind any of your keys or your keyboard keys to another keyboard key. Uh, that might be a little confusing, but I'll hop into my desktop. So as you can see, there's a single icon in my desktop right now. It's called Sharp Keys. It's a program that we are going to be using to rebind any of your keys on your keyboard or most keys on your keyboard to another key. So I'll open up my browser here. And as you can see, I'm on randurans.com slash category slash sharp keys and sharp keys 3.9 is the latest one made or at least updated January 8th in 2019. And as you can see, download sharp keys. It's pretty easy to install uh, if you need that framework 4.0 i'll just include it on the description down below it's from an official microsoft website only if you need it mostly it'll solve the no net framework 4.0 by just updating your machine into the latest windows whatever so uh yeah download sharp keys msi is the installer that zip is a portable you can just click the msi and then just next 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 the installer until this thing pops on your desktop that's how easy it is to install now to use it, double click it, press yes on the admin tab, and you're gonna be popping up with the screen. Uh, this is the window, main window, I guess. And as you can see, I have the page down on my keyboard, which I don't use into function 14 or F14 and page up on F13. Now I don't use this two keys, the page up and down, but I need the F14 and 13. So I can use it on like OBS, on Discord or whatever as a completely different key that is not visible on my keyboard. Now what I can do here is I can show you something. Okay, right here. So as you can see, if I press print screen right now, nothing pops up, right? Now if I press the um, the scroll lock on my keyboard, it pops as scroll lock. So um, I'm just delete that real quick. And what I'm going to do here is actually show you how you can bind it to the F15 and 16, let's just say. So add, press add. You can type the key. Print screen is my first one. If it doesn't take it, it might be a special key. If it doesn't pop up instantly, we can try and find it. Print screen, special print screen. There you go. And then I'm going to turn it into a F15. All right, so let me just go into function 15. Now I cannot use the type key feature here because F15 is not on my keyboard. So I'll just find it here and then function F15. Press OK and I should be good. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the scroll lock. Press add type key. Now I know I can type the scroll lock. As you can see, press OK. And I cannot type the F16 again. So I'm just going to find it here. F16 and press OK. Now keep in mind, this is a registry kind of hack. So after you do it, any keyboard that you plug in on your computer would basically take the same keys and bind it to themselves. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. And um, yeah, that that's basically that. So you cannot use this to rebind a whole another keyboard into the F whatever. So uh, we're going to just use this one and then click right to registry to save it. You can save it, by the way, if you want to have like the file the config file of this program and then you can load that if you know move into a different computer if you have a lot of uh, rebinds already uh, you can do that but uh, for me i'll just write it to my registry now it says key mappings have been successfully stored to the registry please log out or reboot for these changes to take effect so i'm just gonna reboot my device and then i'll be right back and then go back here into the obs settings and show you that it actually works so I'm done restarting my computer and as you can see, I have sharp keys right here. So we got the uh, print screen to F15 and then the scroll lock to F16. Now I'm going to pop up OBS again. I don't know. It's my hotkey tester, I guess. Button right here. And now if I press print screen, it'll do F15. Now if I do scroll lock, it's going to be F16. And uh, yeah, that's just to prove that this thing actually works. And yeah, that's it. If uh, you find this video helpful and informative, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends, turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I do upload a new video. All right, I'm gonna sip some coffee now and um, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.